This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Well, welcome. Welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. Oh, did it up, up, bit up, up, skid it at, scat, 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 did it up, a deep up, 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 up. <laughs> you know, I was on the gram last week, and I, did you text that to me? I did, and there was a woman can you on email there it to me now, so I, I can just pull it. Let up? me find. It is terrible. There's a woman who got some kind of an award, like a Grammy nomination for scatting, not throwing her shit in someone's face, though, right? <laughs> scat play is when you play it poopy. That's a different game. Poopoo. But it it was it's probably the most annoying thing you've ever seen. I have to search through here. I don't know, Tommy. It's really great. I Ugh. mean, how you don't have this ready already is just it's beyond me. You know, this is what the show's about, babe. What do you like best about listening to somebody scat? I mean, it's just like I just feel it in me. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Can you email it to me? Yeah, hold on. Yeah. What a fucking. It it kind of feels to me like a racket. Like, it, it, come on, it's not really a talent. To me, it feels like someone this somebody beat me is really Here, hurting. Me. I just emailed. It hurts it to my you. insides. Hurts everything. Well, it's not real. It's not singing, and it's not rapping. It's scatting, right? Yeah. So it's like. Here I got ski ba doo bopy da boop bop and she's like, I just feel it. I don't have to write it. Like, how, is, how is that a how is that a talent? If you don't, don't have know. to write it and you don't have to really learn how to do it, we just did it. Yeah. Ski ba doo bop be bop boo be dee be dee bop boo bop. Like it's ter- oh god. There she is. She's got and it's on NPR. Yeah. Grammy nominated jazz vocalist, Jasmia Horn. Scatting is more than a technique. It's a means to honor her ancestry and empower herself in the moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a greater. The stage is mine. You ready, to, you ready to hear my favorite form of music that exists? Yeah. Uh, here we go. I don't think about a horn player. Right. I just become the horn player. Yeah. It's called uh, the kids do. It's called... <laughs> Scatting is improvisation, but it's, yeah. very it's called pretend time. I don't because think about a horn. Body is the instrument. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's important because my ancestors did it, uh, and they had a reason behind doing what they did. Because they didn't have horns. <laughs> is they that the reason? They couldn't afford cool shit. Yeah, I know. Oh boy. Oh come on. That goes to like a fuck. Jesus. Hey, well, it's on Instagram. When I'm scatting, <sighs> okay. I don't think about a horn player. Yeah. Be babu de Be babu de Did I just scat? <laughs> you scatting. You got the the Grammy nom. Because I don't know if I could do that with a horn. I think if you gave me a horn <laughs> and you told me to imitate the horn, I'd be like, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, if somebody and gave I would you try a horn. And go, right. Because <laughs> that's a talent, is what but you're I saying. But I can go, be babu de babu de. I'm a horn. <laughs> My ancestors didn't have horns, and uh, even though I could go get one now, I want to be like them. <laughs> you know, my ancestors didn't have either running water, yeah, um, toilets, yeah, they didn't have electricity, sanitation. We gotta do stuff the old way. Roofs, none of it. <laughs> Beds. But yeah. that's the old way. You got you to gotta preserve the cool stuff, right? That's the worst is when someone's like, but people used to do this. Yeah, so yeah. what? Yeah, they didn't have the, what you have now. <laughs> that's why they did that. She's all, I like it. She's like, yeah, I don't need the horn. I am the horn. No, and you're not. But you're not the horn. No, you're not. And honestly, I don't even like the way like when the, the horn plays just by itself. I don't like that shit either. Like, yeah. I like jazz. Yeah. But even when I hear a lot of... I'm like, oh, my God, my, my head's going to explode. One of my friends likes... Like the free flowing. Oh my god! Jazz sessions. And <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> that makes me crazy. Gives me too. anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> and especially when I don't know <laughs> how you watch that, you're like, man, that's good. Because <laughs> he's one of those guys, like, oh yeah, he really loses himself in it. And I'm like, yeah, he lost me too. Yeah. So I guess uh, mission accomplished, man. God damn. God. I mean, I know there's talent. There's clearly a lot of skill involved in doing that stuff, but. For me, it just gives me anxiety listening to it. 
Yeah. It's pretty bad. <sighs> oh, good night. Let's do a proper show open. Yeah. You know, what are we doing here? <laughs> Let me hold on. Let me do the horns for you. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. You want to do the? Oh, you want to do your mom's house horns? <laughs> Why don't you do all the instruments? <laughs> yeah. Dum, 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 dum. Welcome to your mom's house. That was really good. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus. My ancestors taught me. Yeah. Here we go. Here, here, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Blow me up top. Blow me up top. <laughs> Re-explain to me why I can I, I can eat pork. You can eat pork if you eat pussy and suck dicks. You I, might as well eat ten motherfucking pigs, because the Bible speaks of consuming human flesh as much as it speaks of eating pork. Hmm. This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Like we're instruments. I'm not playing the horn. I am the horn. I was the guitar <laughs> right there. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. The thing is, my uh, <laughs> see, my ancestors they couldn't play guitar, <laughs> and neither can I. I'm just carrying on the great tradition <laughs> of having no musical talent. Sure, in my, in my bloodline. <laughs> yeah. Just bam, 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 so ding, silly. Dang, boom, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, it's good stuff. That truly is. I would, it truly is one music form I don't, I just don't get. Yeah, I don't get it either. God, who can listen to that shit like it's real? I don't get it. <sighs> A lot of stuff uh, to talk about, Gene. Yeah, so the Christians are, are, some of them are against putting their mouths on penises, right? Yeah. Vagines and stuff. Yeah, the, a lot of them. I think if you're like, what is it, is evangelical and like old school Baptist, they really read the Bible literally, and then they, yeah. You know what really will change your opinion on? I think religion. Being a grown up. <laughs> being a grown up. <laughs> being an adult. Any photo from space, <laughs> right? You know, <laughs> right, when you right, when you look like, at a what? photo, I was looking at a photo from space. Yeah. That was taken by some satellite from Saturn towards Earth, and you just see a dot, and there's an arrow. It's like this is Earth. Kind of makes you go. It'd be like if someone said, and then the people on that star think that a magic man comes down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Makes you go like, what? They read a, a Bible? It's a absurd. The book said to not eat pigs? It's And it's absurd to think that of all the galaxies and all the solar systems and that, how, yeah. how we only know of this planet having life, that like we're somehow and special. We made, and we made and up that, a mythical story. Yeah. And some someone, a man in the sky is keeping track of all of this. Hey. What did you do down there? Did, did you eat a bite of yeah. a pig? <laughs> did you suck somebody's dick? Do you do you jack off? Yeah. <laughs> You're in big trouble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Did you fuck your mom? Yeah. Did Actually, you eat, you shouldn't fuck eat your mom. fish on Friday? Like yeah. all that stuff is it's just nonsense. It, yeah. I don't think God even has time. Let's say that there is a God. He doesn't have time to keep track of all that. There's a lot going on. There's so much more happening. Especially things like if you do something, let's say, self indulgent, it's kind of selfish and greedy maybe it's something mundane like eating pig um right but then there's also fires and and Pedo slides. pedophilia yeah yeah right now genocide yeah. he's like whoa 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 did you have sausage <laughs> <laughs> put that back down right well god doesn't even care about the biggies like all the stuff you just named the fires mm -mm. and the um, doesn't stop them at holocaust all. nazis He's always like, uh, I hope you guys learn. <laughs> free, free will. It's up to you. You yeah. better stop being bad. <laughs> That's where this happens. I'm going to send that hurricane. All those yeah. queers. Kill everybody. Yeah. And stop being gay. I hate it. <laughs>
That's one of my main things up here. That I hate <laughs> gays. <laughs> so I think about it all the time. <laughs> yeah. I made you. I made the possibility that you're gay, but I can't stand it. Yeah. God's a big homophobe. Yeah. He really, really is like, ah. stop it. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> So so ridiculous. You know. It's just like the gays. I know God. It's just like the gays. It's just like that the is gays. God. That is God's thing, right? Here's God right here. I have a quote from God. I have come all over my face. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what? Holy cow. He cow. sent me an MP3. He uh, he sent you that? Yeah. Wow. Um so yeah, this lady here has like some pretty strong views. Yeah. So if you suck a dick and swallow the ejaculation, you might as well eat you 10 motherfucking peas. If you eat pussy oh, and swallow oh the fluid from the pussy, you <laughs> oh might as well eat you 10 motherfucking peas because the sperm was made to fertilize the egg and mm -hmm. ain't never one of them coming from the goddamn mouth. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, it is interesting how, I mean, you're taught these rules kind of early if you're brought rules? up in religion. Yeah. yeah. And then there is a turning point where you go like, wait a minute wait a minute, why can't I do that? Why can't I eat pork? Or why can't I have... Because the guy said why so. Why is this even like... All the stories make no sense. No sense. And also the idea that there's a book, in even in his, in the, in his historical context, human history, it's like 100,000 years old, but we're going to, like, but 2,000 years ago, they're like, that's... When the guy was here. Yeah, guys, it's the and, right one. And that's when the book was written. And then people are like, that's the book we all should live our <laughs> lives based on. A book that's 2,000 years old. Yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah. Okay. Well, and also there's no... So did all the people before him, were they doing things incorrectly? Yes, or? obviously. Duh. But they didn't know because Why don't he you wasn't believe? here yet. Well, uh, okay. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, it, it's it's all fucking it's so stupid. Here's That's what why, I think. Yeah, God, this yeah, is what yeah, God is doing all day long, every day. Rop, rop, rop. <laughs> I think he's just jerking off watching TV. I think we're TV. Do you think every time he comes, it's that's rain? <laughs> that's really good, really good. No, because he's God, so his comes got to be. That's the hurricanes. <laughs> oh, it's right. Hurricanes, tornadoes. See, that makes yeah. a lot more sense. It's God come when when there's a hurricane. Yeah. yeah. Or blizzards or something. We should run this by my mom when she's here. <laughs> I think she would dig it. Yeah. It's interesting, too, what people... I have a couple of religious jokes in my act right now. Yeah, yeah. Man, it's so funny. Most of the time, it goes pretty well. Yeah. But there's been times when it's gone sideways. <laughs> and it is amazing to me how seriously people take that still. Yeah, but like I, I do feel like it is something to do with being really... You're really inundated with it as a child. Yeah. And you kind of have to undo your childish beliefs yeah. as an adult. And a lot of people don't. And you're like, wait, that isn't. Or the idea that our Bible is the right one is kind of crazy, too. Did I tell you about the conversation I had with a woman on the plane? No. I, I don't, said, I don't plane, talk. I don't like have those conversations plane, anymore. On a plane. Um, <laughs> so I was sitting there and, I don't know, it was pretty mundane stuff. And then I saw, I peeked at the cover, and it was something about Peter, the apostle. Mm -hmm. So I go, I said something like, good book? And she was like, it's really good, actually. It's really good. And I said, oh, okay. And then I said, so are you, I mean, are you just like studying for educational purposes? Or like, in other words, is this, you know, are you learning something? Or is this like, you just Free time enjoying reading. this? She's like, no, this one, you know, I mean, it's I'm learning, but it's what I, you know, I was... I was looking forward to reading this, and I was like, oh. Mm. And then we started talking about that a little bit, and I kind of, you know, I didn't say anything provocative to her, but then I was like, hey, do you ever, she said something about, oh, yeah. She was like, yeah, you know, it's like when people, she was like, do you, have you accepted Christ as your Savior? Mm. And I was like, um. Yeah, sure. I go, I was raised, <laughs> I just said, like, I was raised, that's what I always say when someone says, I go, I was raised in a Catholic house. In other words, I'm trying to tell them, you don't worry about me like don't try to yeah, sell me but yeah. i'm also not trying to further the i go I was raised catholic she's like oh that's good and or whatever she said but then she's like yeah you know and it's kind of my mission to like you know I try to save people before and i go well what do you think happens i go if they don't she goes then they go to hell uh -oh. and i go so you do you really think that people go to hell if they don't accept christ and she goes yeah and i said what about um because there's a lot of people, billions of people that are another religion, like back to what you were saying. About, sure. And 
you know, Muslims, Jews. Buddhists. I go, do you think Hindus. they go to hell? And she goes, it was a really hard conclusion for me to come to. But yeah. <laughs> so all Muslims go to hell? <laughs> and she was like, yeah. And I go, and all Jews. And she was like, yep. And I go, all right. I go, have, have a great trip. <laughs> Hope you have a blessed day. Yeah, have is a blessed one day. one of your, your his earliest eye. jokes under <laughs> yeah. his eye. Yeah. <laughs> but isn't that a, a, a crazy that this human yeah. was on, is walking the world with us? Well, and especially because if you, I mean, Jesus's message is, is of love and acceptance, and he accepted the prostitutes, and he accepted all the people that, you know, were marginalized in yeah. society. But except for those, you know, Jews and the Muslims. And I mean, I get it if, if religion so gives you comfort. I think you should have your comfort. For sure, yeah. But then your message is everyone's going to hell. It's kind of crazy. Kind of contradictory, yeah. This lady's also a little crazy. Oh, oh yeah. She's coming from your personal body parts. The sperm fertilizer egg, which is in your ovaries. Ain't no eggs in your fucking mouth. It's nothing there but sin, lust, and goddamn pleasure. And it all falls under the same umbrella. Umbrella. Yeah, she said she, umbrella. She added a syllable to umbrella. Um, umbrella. Umbrella. Umba. She did it the Rihanna way. Umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> umbrella. 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 Uh, umbrella. Oh, man. You know, Eating dick will fuck you up. Speaking of religion, though, it's funny because I, I flew home yesterday from Portland. Yeah. And, How was that? Uh, amazed. Pussy. Amazed. Our, our audiences are by far the best. We should keep pointing best. out that these are being recorded at a different pace because of the fucking movie schedule. Excuse, excuse me. Because of the goddamn Having, fucking at, movie schedule. Hello, you're a movie star now. You no, should have I a know. little more regal of a, a vocabulary. No, I'm just letting our listeners know. I, I mean, I'm thrilled to do the movie, and I'm, I always love doing this show. I'm just saying that's why... A movie star now you think you should really clean up clean up my act the voice the act the everything uh so i came back from portland which was amazed the audiences were amazed you guys are fantastic for coming out i really do appreciate portland all might have the best fucking crowds oh in the they're country. just amazed and they're so they're so down to have fun i had you know it was great so anyway you guys are doing good <laughs> in portland for sure in portland yeah and uh, i came home and I, we were texting, and you go, is it weird that I don't give a shit about Easter? Don't give a motherfucking <laughs> shit about Easter. And, and it's Sunday as I'm flying home on Easter Sunday, and I go, neither do I. I, I could give fucking zero fucks. Yeah. But I honestly think it's it's twofold for me why I don't like Easter. One, uh, because of the Stations of the Cross, because in Catholic school... It was like they didn't focus on the Easter bunny or on the fun or the chocolate. The, Catholic school is like, see, and then the suffering Christ. For people that listen or watch <laughs> this show, we all have different backgrounds and uh, upbringings. But the, the kids that grew up in Catholic homes know that, you know, <laughs> Catholics, if you had real Catholic parents, they had a, a real, a nice way of ruining childlike <laughs> fun. fun. Yeah. The fun of it. Just It should just be Easter baskets and chocolate Yeah, they would ruin eggs. Christmas with Christ <laughs> suffering and, you know. Suffering. You're like, presents? They're like, it's not about presents. <laughs> you're like, all right. And then... And then uh, <laughs> right, it's not about the fun. You're like, everyone else is talking about presents. Yeah, well, they're stupid and they're going to hell. And then... <laughs> Easter, yeah, Easter is like bunny chocolate. They're like, well, the real part about Easter is God <laughs> rose after he was murdered. And you're like, oh, <sighs> I'm four. So, yeah. But they really dragged it out when I went to an all-girls Catholic school. But you realize that's school. why we fucking go like, oh, Jesus. Because it's it, they suck it's, the it, fun. They suck the joy. For you. Yeah. And we had to walk. I remember our campus was beautiful. And they had they actually did the real Stations of the Cross and we had to walk around with a nun, you know, Sister Anne or whoever. And then she's like, and this is when Jesus fell again. And Jesus falls like a hundred times. Over and over. And they beat him and <laughs> whipped him. And people pointed and laughed. And he had a crown of thorns in his the head. The crown of like, thorns. <laughs> I remember being a kid <laughs> and then showing us that on an Easter, too. Of course. But I mean, like, not in school. I mean, being a young kid, you know. Maybe five or six, and you're like, uh, have your basket with your chucky treats. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, there's an image of, and you're like, what happened? They're like, that's Jesus. <laughs> He's He rose from the dead today oh, nice, while you're man? eating your fucking yeah. chocolate. And you're like, why did they do that? Oh. And, then, and then I remember I had this teacher who had to teach us exactly how the nails got put in. Did you know that they did not, by the way, it's inaccurate historically that they put the nails through Jesus's palms. It's through the wrists, right? Right, yeah. because that would slide off the cross. If you nailed somebody's oh. palms, 
it would just tear through it and the person would fall. So they crucified you by nailing it through your wrists. I bet it was cool for them to discover that. <laughs> I bet <laughs> back in the Roman the Romans. times, yeah, they were like, oh, you know, the nail, the weight of his body just slid through his hands. Yes. And well, he, he still died, but kind of fucked up the decoration we were going for. So what we've done is innovated this whole thing. And we nailed through the wrists <laughs> and then we nail through both feet. <laughs> And they bleed out that way. <laughs> Works well. Yeah. Okay, so that's one reason I hate Easter. Yeah. The second reason has to do with... the ejaculation? Is, is the why? ejaculation. Is my dad. I had this childhood <laughs> memory. It was right around the age where I was kind of starting to figure out that Santa wasn't real. And I think once that domino falls, all the others do, like the Easter Bunny and the yeah. Tooth Fairy. And Santa hadn't fallen just yet, but I was starting to catch on. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember my dad, I was at, I was staying with him at the time, and um, it was the night before Easter, and I we were going to sleep, and I was like, so dad, the Easter Bunny's going to come, right? Like the Easter, I kept asking him, the Easter Bunny's going to come, right? And he was like, yeah, 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 sure, it's going to come. Like, it, it co- of course, ignoring me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bunny's coming. And of course, I woke up Easter morning, and there was nothing. Like, my dad didn't even buy me, like, a chocolate, like, nothing in the house, and I remember just being like, wait, the, there's no Easter Bunny? He's like, oh, yeah, no, there's no Easter Bunny. Like, he, that's how he told me. How old me. were you? I don't remember. I, I, it must have been, like, around the age where you start to realize. So it's seven or something, seven, yeah. right? And then I remember going to my mom's house and just crying. Because, like, I was like, there's no Easter Bunny? Does yeah. that mean that there's no Santa and there's no... T-? And she's like, fuck. Yeah. She's like, yeah. And I remember she took me to the store and I bought an Etch-A-Sketch. And that was like my Easter present for the day. Yeah. But like he really fucked up the biggies for me because he was just lazy. He was like, nah, I don't want to buy nothing for you. Yeah. So that's... So that was cool parenting, right? Yeah. <laughs> but we don't... So here's the thing is that we don't fuck up our kids good time. Do you I, pull that arm down some? I keep trying. I, I, just pull that back. I, as, as much as I don't give Not a fuck that way. about Easter. Yeah. I made sure that our child enjoyed Easter yesterday. Right. We did an Easter egg hunt for LJ and he got, you know, we didn't do the Jesus stuff to him. Yeah. <sighs> but you got to do it for your kids, man. You got to do it for your kids. Even though we don't give a shit. I know. No, no, that's the whole thing. That's what being a parent is. is you right. do it for the kids. A good parent. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that's that's what being, yes. Right, like a like loving parent. Like us doing that yesterday and hiding eggs and yeah. him. That's us being good. But like, why? uh, But my dad was so selfish. Like, why wouldn't you just be like? And I remember him blowing me off. Like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, it's gonna be here tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was so dismissive Mm. and shitty. Like, you couldn't have got. I know you went to the liquor store. I know you went down to the Seven Eleven. You could have got me like a fucking chocolate bunny with your six or a Heineken. I mean, Uh, that's just fucking lazy. I'm sorry, Jane. No, I'm I'm fine. I'm just saying it's really lazy parenting. Yeah, I hear. I hear you. Yeah. Could have gone down to the fucking Rite Aid or whatever, CVS. I definitely think most men would fall short if they were. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You guys have no, but that's not, not this generation. I mean, no, this generation is different, though. It yeah. is a different, it's a different world. Uh, we're also, this generation's much more emotionally aware. Yeah. Generationally, you know? Yeah. I mean, your dad would probably just like. Oh, here's your, I don't know. like, you want a steak, buddy? Here's your Easter steak, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, yeah, I like steak. <laughs> and then he'd be like, all right, uh, I ordered some chocolates, too, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> okay. And that would be your Easter? Probably. Yeah. yeah I mean, the you're... women kind of ran the show. When right. But show. if your kid says specifically, hey, Dad, Easter Bunny's coming tomorrow, you know what that means. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. a cute little girl asking you for shit. I mean, come on, Jesus Christ! How fucking lazy! If, if she you? asked specifically, I'm sure you would try. It was that. like I was reminding him. Yeah. God, so fucking lazy! It's unbelievable. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, yeah. But you're right. The women tend to keep up the traditions. They the do. Home. Yeah, I know. It sounds like I'm being uh, antiquated with this stuff, but it's true. Well, yeah, yeah. I I'm the mom, so yeah. I make sure Christmas looks nice, the house looks nice. I would Easter. never do a decoration. <laughs> I'll tell you that. If it was just me, no. not a single thing, <laughs> you would never know what time of year it was. If you were just dropped into this home, you'd be like, I don't know, is it March? Is it June? <laughs> is it November? You would know no idea. Yeah. No, but I like that you do it. Of course, because I, I know never, it makes yeah. everybody, it brings joy. 
Just like at Halloween, I decorate the house. I like to have that stuff. Maybe because my parents were so great at it. You know, I'm just carrying on their You're tradition. You're carrying on the circle of fun. Yeah. <laughs> just like my ancestors did. Dibbity bop boo. The eating pork. We're okay. getting high blood pressure. Come. Oh Twist God. it. We'll fuck you up on the inside <laughs> in a long run. Oh eating beef will fuck you up in a long run from the inside. That's why we got AIDS and all this other bullshit yeah. around here. True. But okay, so the term eating eating vagina, uh, it, it it's it's you're more so licking. You're not really eating it. Well, then you consuming the shit that comes from the licking. <laughs> you consuming the body fluids. You're a nasty motherfucker. No. You're nasty, and then you eat you eat a pumpkin pee. Okay. I love her. She's yeah. great. I wish that was my grandmother. She didn't have a lot of fun in her youth. My though. grandmother didn't talk like that at all. But I wish. <laughs> I wish she did. <laughs> That's why you got AIDS. That's why we got AIDS. Call from oral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> licking vaginas and stuff. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I think She's... it was butt fucking, actually, ma'am. Butt fucking <laughs> is the medical term. When you butt fuck, you can get AIDS. Yeah. That's what they say. Someone, That's what the doctor says. It's a butt, butt fuck disease. Yeah. I don't think it's a dick suck disease so she much is as a butt fuck. not down right? with that pork. <laughs> no, pork is really a big, it, it, the Muslims don't eat the pork, right? Yeah, no, yeah. By the way, did you see this? You've seen pork this. Pork is a filthy animal. They're all uh, filthy animals. Cows are filthy too. They're all, they all step in their own filth. shit. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Get um, This guy, what is his name? Jamie, Jamie Lee Parker is a tattoo artist. And oh my gosh! He, I know what you're gonna bring up, and I can't believe how good it is. So I have a I have a joke in my latest special about which is true about sometimes throughout my life, and in, including recently, people will be like, "Oh, Segura, is that Japanese?" <laughs> and I have a so there's a bit about it in the special. I don't want to do the whole thing, but so anyways, I guess you know people have been commenting and messaging me a lot about it, and you know they write to me, "Are you Japanese?" Like as a joke. Yeah. And people who think it's Japanese are like, so, so, uh, you know, they're like, it sounds Japanese. I'm like, uh -huh. all right, man. Anyways, that's the joke. He did a tattoo on someone. Craziness. Uh, of it's me so as like a good. samurai. Um, it's so good. I mean, <clears throat> I will say the unreal. detail is like, he really got your face, your nose, your beard. Oh your the guy is a really whoever this is is an amazing. He even got artist. the beard colors right. Yeah, like down to the the whisker. Yeah, like where like this white hair right here. Yeah, yeah, right you're, here. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, and he did uh, 14 hours. Damn, it's a real fan right there. This is so amazing, especially in contrast to that Instagram page. I think it's called Sucky Tattoos or Suck My Tattoos. That shit is so fucking hilarious because it's. It's basically tattoos that were done in 14 seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's sucky tattoos. Mm. And then the tagline is, stop getting shitty tattoos. That's what <laughs> it says. It's it's so unbelievable. I'm going to try to pull it up right now and show it to you. Um, that people would, especially when you see how bad these are, um, it's like, why would you, this isn't like you paid, you bought a painting. Oh and my you're, God. You're, uh, you know, you're like, oh, I'm going to hang this up. This is on your body, you know? This is yeah. on your body forever. And it's so, so hard to commit to something. Oh, my God. I mean. That guy says. It just says, keep, keep it, it real. real. Yeah, that's stupid. Oof. I don't know what that's supposed to be. That's misspelled. Believe <gasps> in myself. It's B-E-L-I-V-E -E yeah, in myself. That's, that's, oh, shit. That's bad. That says, be live in myself. <laughs> and this says, what about believing in English? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Has shit like this. Yeah, that's funny. With the eyes on your ass cheeks. The ones that are really crazy are just like the really poorly sketched one. You know where the the line work here? You yeah. You know, like the yeah, outer yeah, edge yeah. is. And then, look, they misspelled California <laughs> and then wrote over it. California dreaming. And, I mean, look at the font. It's like somebody freehand. You let them. <laughs> oh, my wall. God. That's bad. Look at that leg. That look, at the, look how long the leg is. <laughs> uh, Doesn't make any sense. It's not right at all. You know. <laughs> now, prison tattoos, I don't think that's fair. Because it's like, that dude's in prison. Oh, you think something's wrong with this guy, though, or no? <laughs> no. 
I mean, I'm, you think something's wrong with him? There's no teeth in the in the mouth, but Oof. no. But I mean, like you can't you can't really rank a prison tattoo. It's like, all right. Oh man, I don't know. Jeez. This this they misspelled too. You know, there's there's two O's. Ay, in this. Yeah, yeah. Too weird to live. Too rare. Like. Yeah, yeah. I thought they they do a stencil first so you can proofread. Like nobody. Nobody proofread. There's no regrets. <laughs> It's a lot, bro. Yeah. Anyways, what a what great contrast, right? When you see this work, <laughs> you know, like mm. that somebody paid someone for that, and then you have fucking this guy. That's a maze. <laughs> through this, do I mean, I think it's crazy. This? Jamie Lee Parker. Oh, Jamie Parker. Uh, yeah. Where do you know where this person is? No, no, I just oh. see it in this email here. But it's pretty maze. It's incredible, yeah. Jesus, he even got your silly eye work. I keep forgetting because I look at it, I see a, a painting. <clears> I keep <throat> forgetting that this is on someone's body. That's another thing you have to take into consideration is like that. That's on an angle. Like yeah. that's a round surface. I know. It's not even a flat. It's like an arm. But even right now, I keep. How do they do that? I keep forgetting as I'm looking at it because I'm looking at the artwork, and then I have to remind myself somebody's walking around with that. <laughs> you know, like, I know. What if you offend him on your next special? I don't know. He like hates me. Yeah, and he's like, F- I fucking hate Tom Segura now. And someone's like, Who? What's he look like? He's like, Well, actually, I have a, <laughs> a photo like tattoo of him on my body. Jeez. What part of his, is that on his leg? You think arm? Uh, I don't know. It's, I can't tell. It's around. I think right. that's a leg. Oh, oh, you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. So like, not only does he have to get you in your like your likeliness perfect, yeah. your likeness. Sorry. <clears throat> but he has to do it on an angle. So, like, how does he even, how know. do they fucking learn? How do you learn to tattoo? That's the real thing. That means you got to give a lot of bad tattoos, I'm assuming, right? I'm I'm assuming, yeah. But hopefully most of them are just, you know, not tattooed on someone. Maybe you, you learned all your bad stuff on paper. You let, Yeah, but then but then you can't no, account right. you for, gotta like, you got to practice the, it. Um, you got to do it on skin, man. And, and By the way, I'm going crazy talent. right now. So I do this regularly. Yeah. Well, because I freak out. I personally have my own anxiety about beard length and yeah. hair length. And I, you know, when it gets to a certain point, you kind of go like, "I got to get my hair cut today. I got to get my." Yeah, hair. yeah, I, I get the same way. I feel like I yeah. look horrible. You got to do it. You're just ugly until and you I've get your hair done. I've been like this over a week, but I can't touch it myself because I go to shoot more of the movie oh, tomorrow. Oh, it has to look the same as the it did same. last time. So Aww. I have to go tomorrow and let them do the cut and make sure it matches the earlier stuff. Anyways, it's making me absolutely crazy. Shout out to Plymouth, Minnesota, a suburb of Minneapolis. I'm wearing my Twin Cities hat today. And shout out to Zachary Lane Elementary School, where I went for one year. (laughs) Okay. You think a lot of those people are listening? There's definitely someone right now who's like, no fucking way. (laughs) I went to Zachary Lane. Yeah, yeah. I went there for fourth grade. And then I went to the Catholic school. I forget the name of fifth grade and sixth grade. Christ. Yeah. It's cool that your parents moved you around every year. And then too. we moved again for seventh grade. I went to his, uh, Lakeshore Middle School in Mecca, Wisconsin. It's bad. It's really bad to do to your kids. Your beard, I, I don't feel like it's that full right now. I know how full it is compared to how I've been wearing it. It's do much you, bigger. So do you smell the smells more? Like, Because uh, um, I, know, I know that your beard traps more smells. A little more. Yeah. It is a little more trappy. Yeah. 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 Now, I will say when your diet was way worser yeah when you were eating like pizza and stuff Mm -hmm. your beard would smell a lot like like cheese and stuff more thank you yeah it doesn't smell bad now but i can tell what you've had what you've been doing like remember you came home last time Mm -hmm. and i sniffed your beard and i was like did you smoke cigars yeah yeah i'm like i can smell that But i smoked cigars the day before right but it's it's still in your beard and in your skin and you hadn't showered right i'm assuming i think i had showered that's why it was amazing. Yeah, I can smell it all in your beard. Yeah, pretty interesting. When you go on your hikes, who knows what happens there? I've been hiking lately. <laughs> Smelling that beard. Meeting guys, a lot of nice guys in the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm having a muscle spasm in the same spot for a couple of days. It's not weird. What spot is it? Right here. It's moving What's right now. What's going on there? You see it? No. Do no? you feel it right now? I wonder yeah. why there. Right here. I don't know. It's oh, interesting. Um, what were we going to talk about? I wanted to bring up that Netflix show you and I got into, uh, that Beach Body show. Oh, where be- people go to uh, Thailand. Beauty and the Beauty and the Beach or something. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's what, Thailand for cosmetic surgery. <laughs> it's people from New Zealand and Australia who who can't afford to have it, I guess, done there, and then they go to Thailand for discount major plastic <laughs> surgery. And I'm talking like removing penises, creating vaginas, face work. Major. Oh yeah. Facelifts, major nose shit. Job, chin implants. I had no idea God. how much even the discussion God. of removing one's penis and <laughs> testicles would affect me. I would feel so and I and I'm this is not to belittle or demean or humiliate anybody <clears throat> who does it. Uh, I think, you know, uh, by all means do what whatever you want to do to be happy. I, I think it's great if that's what you want to do. I'm saying that when uh, the person was consultating with the doctor, I could feel my testes jump. <laughs> I could feel my asshole go like, <sighs> Oof, like yeah, that. Yeah, and, yeah. and he's like, yeah, and then we'll remove the penis. I was like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. And then we'll invert everything and make you a vagina. I was like, ha. <laughs> I couldn't, I was, I was having this visceral reaction to it that I, I didn't expect at all. It was tough. I know you couldn't watch the whole segment. I couldn't watch that segment. You missed it because they show the dong in her hand at one point. She's like, "Yo, y'all painted. We cut it all." And he's like, "What? Uh, what did you just say?" I'm, I'm doing the Thai accent, babe. I can do it now. My mom is my new mom's Vietnamese, so I can make fun of Rob. Rob. Yeah. Rob. It's fine. Yeah. He's um, Thai. He's Thai. Oh, he's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's your rub rub doctor. Yeah. <clears throat> Rob. Rob. It's it's fascinating. Fifty. 50. 50. <laughs> yeah. I guess there's this poor, there's poor woman in Australia who her uterus is coming out of her vagina because yeah. she had five babies and <clears throat> she has like public health care and they told her she had to wait nine years to get the procedure. So That's she's kind like, of a fuck that. Sizable wait. Nine years. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. How I are mean, you going to tell someone that? For their, their, their genitals oh, are. Is, it, is it public health care? That's what she's on. I don't oh, yeah. know. I, I'm not familiar enough with their. That system. is one of the big things about public health care in different parts of the world is they they will pay for it, but they sometimes they're like, you got to come back in years. Gosh, I mean, and in that case, I understand going to Thailand. It's closer for obviously for Australians. Yeah, and you get it done, and it's a nice enough place. It's it's fancy. Yeah. And but anyway, there's this one lady, because <laughs> you they don't show you first of all they don't show you a year later. Which is really when you want to see what plastic surgery looks like. When That's the, very true. When the face is relaxed and you see how the muscles have kind of come together and, and the work that they've done. So you only see like two, three weeks post-op. Yeah. And they're all so geeked to have the work done and they're so excited and they're all shiny. And there's this one lady who had a facelift done. Now you tell it. I like you telling it. <sighs> she had, she had uh. her facelift done. <laughs> Whatever, she's all black and blue, which is normal, and then... Eyelids all stitched up. Yeah, face is all crazy, Oof. and then she's looking in the mirror, she's like, I look great. And then about 10 days later, <laughs> swelling has reduced. Oh my God, it's so brutal. Watch it. I keep thinking about it. I, I was a, a logger, meaning a transcriber, on Home... Uh, Extreme Makeover was the name of the show, Extreme Makeover. Loved that show. And that was the network version. They would air this shit on ABC, I think. And they would basically take people, busted ass people, and uh, <laughs> give them a total makeovers. I mean, plastic surgery, new teeth, hair, it's great. new wardrobes, everything. And then, you know, they would have a big reveal. And people would be like, what the fuck? And it the was teeth, fun to watch. And the t they should just have a teeth makeover show yeah. because that alone, I remember, would just transform people's The teeth lives. were huge. The, the teeth God. were done by a dentist out here. Um, oh, yeah, I remember that doctor. Yeah. Doctor, yeah, fuck nuts. Yeah, Dr. Kind of fuck nuts was yeah. a big douchebag. And he, um, he let us get, like, free whitenings. And we went there and then... His uh, assistants were like, "Do you have that?" That's where they told me they're like, "You have like twenty cavities." Uh, that story happened to me, by the and way, it, but yeah, yeah it right. did later. It happened to me, same thing. You later. know, I told that story. For yeah, a but long then time. I went when I had insurance, dental insurance, for uh -huh. this one job, and they're like, "You have like thirteen cavities." Thirteen's actually the number that I—that's my number. And then I was like, "Fuck you!" And I went yeah. to my Hungarian dentist, and he's like, "You have like one cavity. This is a lie." But. This story, <sighs> whatever. I'm so I'm glad it's it's documented because people have called you out on it. No, it's not. Ask my friend yeah. Eric. I was uh, he, he was there when it happened. Okay, we worked together. So uh, <sighs> okay. Anyway, go ahead. Remember when you worked at America's Most Wanted? I didn't so, ever do that. I know so, that much. <laughs> I know that much. So this lady has like the ten day. She's ten days removed from from her 
intensive plastic surgery where they're jamming slides <laughs> under her fucking face and pulling her, Drain peeling plugs her face and back. Shit. And so she's like, Arr. <laughs> Anyways, she's like, I'm going to go see the doctor today. And when she says she's going to go see the doctor, her left eyebrow, she's like, I'm going to go see the doctor today. I have someone I want to talk to him about. <laughs> and you're like, I think she's going to talk about that eyebrow. <laughs> and she goes in there and she's like, um, there's one thing I wanted to ask you about. <laughs> I remember you mentioning it and I didn't realize it was an issue until people kept re-explaining things to me <laughs> like I didn't understand. Is this a left eyebrow? gonna come down or is it gonna stay <laughs> cocked like i'm in a permanent state of huh yeah. and he's like it will come down <laughs> <laughs> she had a case of the tom seguras yeah because you got that eyebrow that's your eyebrow move she had a case of the meanies yeah i mean that shit looked just one and i remember dude right before she went into the doctor i was like is her fucking eyebrow higher dude i was like look at that eyebrow it was slowly creeping up creeping up yeah and then he, she's like, um, is when it going to go down? When she's meeting with him, it looks really bad. <laughs> it looks horrible. Yeah. And he's like, it's very normal. It will come down. Da, da, da. And I was like, no way. No yeah. fucking way. The muscle here is active. <laughs> I need to relax. You need full body massage. Open your mouth. More pressure. Open your mouth. And <laughs> let me put my my taste mouth inside <laughs> they of do not those doctors are very good no those those doctors pioneered um th the, the whole you know cutting the weenie off surgery that's what it's called yeah yeah the dick, <laughs> dick up inside you yeah. <laughs> they 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 created that stuff that's why they have so many good lady boys it's, there it's they they innovated it's that even thinking it's amazing. about it now it's like uh i don't know you don't want to cut your schmackle off and it's then... just that like they in invert <laughs> Invert your penis. Yeah. And so that becomes your canal. Yeah. But somehow you stay with good sensitivity to well, it. Well, here's how here's how they did it. Oh. So they took his scrotal skin, actually, uh -huh. and then they show the nurse uh -huh. plucking the hairs off of the scrotal skin uh -huh. and making it soft, like kind of scraping yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. And then that's the skin that they used for the internal part of the vagina is what I'm understanding. Uh -huh. And then the... <clears throat> yeah, and they use the tip of the penis to make the clitoris. Ha. Yeah, and then the penis skin, I think, is the outer, the labia. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. It's amazing, and I wish they would have shown more no. detail. No. I have so many questions. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You want to no, have no, that no. done? And what if, while they explain it to you, they're like... <laughs> Here is how I take the penis and make it a vagina. <laughs> oh my god. So, moving along topic wise, yeah. you and I went into a uh, bar stucks a week ago. We, we dropped feet, we, we were taking feet to the vet, I think. Yeah. And we were on our way back, and I had to go pee in the Starbucks. And when I went to go pee, there was a woman next to me who came in hurriedly, hur hurriedly, is that the word? Hurried, Hur hurried. Kind of in a hurried manner. And she dropped trow and she had full diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have to say in girl world, that is very rare. It's yeah. extremely rare. It's as rare as hearing a double pipe classic because generally women don't drop massive brown load in a public restroom. Really? No. So what happens? Like, can you hear a little bit? Oh or? my God. I heard everything. No, no, normally. Oh, peas. You hear pee? Number one and only. You smell too, though. Sometimes some nasty bitch, you'll hear like, and like a, like a toot will slip out like, poop, and then you'll know like, oh, she's, she's shitting. But you don't seldom do you hear like the full, and then like all Must of it. Must be a nice world that you live in because <laughs> let me tell you something about the men's room. Yeah. In a lot, in most places, especially a busy men's room, like I'm saying multiple <laughs> stalls, it is a <laughs> symphony of sounds and it smells like <laughs> death. I mean, you go to LAX. Yeah, well, that's yeah, any man. major airport, but yeah. like those, those bathroom stalls are yeah. wrecked. I mean, it stinks <laughs> to high heaven. Well, at the airport, you know, you've got international dumps. International you've got time dumps. time zone dumps. And you see the, the fucking Travel masses dumps. Of, of humanity walking through yeah. there. Yeah, garbage. Garbage people. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. 
This is like what it's like uh, in the men's room. It's like. That's but why do guys have no shame and why do women have the shame? Some dudes do. I mean, I, I had time in my life where I was a little more like, ooh, but like, I don't know. I think guys are just like, I got a shit. What do you want me to do? So, Help me, Sensei. Yeah. How do I? I mean, I don't. I usually just shit with reckless abandon. If oh, I have yeah. to shit, I shit. I don't fucking care. Yeah. But for the other gals listening, how do we get them? How do we get over the hump of. Because I feel like I, I would like that this woman was just going for it. I mean, it was Starbucks. Yeah. They basically serve you bowel torture, and then some of them don't have bathrooms, so which you is heard, crazy. You heard an eruption, though. I heard diarrhea. Yeah. Very rare. Very rare in the women's yeah. bathroom. You just got to realize it doesn't matter. Doesn't Who cares? You got to yeah. When you got to go, you should just let it oh, let the valve And the open. farts. I think it's the farts that women don't want people to hear the farts Why? or hear the sounds. Why? It's embarrassing. It's not like How's it embarrassing? There's no one there. You can't see the person. That's what I always feel you have too. Walls up around it's, you. It's anonymous and you can wait for that other person that's to That's what leave. I I've done I've had ones where I'm like, poof. <laughs> like and you know the person that I've I've heard people go like, Jesus. You know, like that. <laughs> I've heard that before. So if that happens and you're feeling a little timid, you know, but I've also walked out and had people just look right at me and you go like yeah. Have you ever had someone after you violent shit in public and then they're like, hey, you're Tom Segura. I know you. you're a comedian. I've had them say <laughs> I've had them say like, hey, yeah, um, while I'm at a urinal. And I've also had it <laughs> while I'm washing my hands. Like, you know, but not like after you just had not a like major diarrhea. as I walked out of the stall. But I've had, it, you know, washing my hands 30 seconds later. But they know that you just shit is what I'm trying um, to get at. I don't know. I don't know if they know I just shit. No. I don't think so. Because I that would bother me if I took a shit and then they're like, "Oh, hey." I, I don't just like when they try to shake my hands in the bathroom. That's nasty as fuck. I've had a guy try to shake my hands while I'm at the urinal. Ugh. Yeah. Holding your wiener. Yeah. And I'm like, "Well, I'm a little busy right now." He's like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." <laughs> I was gonna come see your show, but I didn't. I'm like, "Thank you." That's always That's the, fun. <laughs> the fun. I was gonna see you, but I chose not to. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you remember? It was a few weeks ago. I wonder if I have it. Uh, in here, there was a guy, and he had a proposal. I think, yeah, this yeah, is it here. I, I think about him from time to time. Do you? Yeah. Okay, this is the guy. Yeah, he's a real. Hi, I'm Lucas Werner, and I want to have kids someday. <sighs> I'm prepared to offer one thousand dollars to the woman with similar needs that wants to go out with me to dinner at Churchill's in Spokane. So, if this is you, please post a. Video response um, detailing why you want to go out with me. Um, okay. That's really insane. Yeah. Uh, well, at first, uh, at first we felt bad for him. Like, oh, that guy's nice. Yeah. And then he kind of was just a douchebag. It went bag. down a pretty shitty hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But essentially he's like, hey, I'll give you $1,000 to have dinner at a nice restaurant, but I want to have a family with yeah, you. That's I don't know. Anyways, he has another video out. Uh, I know he's like you should be under 25 years old. Here's this. I want uh. an adult hottie in my lap right now, under 26 right now. No frills, no excuse. Big titties and intelligence. I don't care if she's a hood rat, punk rock, or any kind of anything. As long as she's hot and here right now, I'm a 37 year old dick right now, 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 right now. He's high as fuck. You think so? Yeah. You think everything's worked out? Or no? Piss on me, beat me. He's like he's like that level of. Mania. You think he just came from Churchill's and he's just like, <laughs> he's just full of steak? He's like, I enjoyed dinner, but I want something to top it off. No, Jesus no. Jesus no. Christ. Yeah, again, you don't have to express this feeling. You can feel it. <laughs> you just don't have to share it. Well, when you're high on uh, cocaine or whatever it is, yeah. you're not really thinking clearly. That's true. I bet he's coked up. He looks his the eyes are kind of wild, dude. Yeah. He's um he's not doing so well. No. Um, but this is uh, this is when you make videos like this when you're on drugs. Try it out. 
You know? Oh, for sure. I mean, I, I would argue that the majority of videos we play are on drugs. <laughs> Most people are high of some kind. Uh. The problem is we're never having anything is everybody else gets laid. The gray hair beers use the research on telomerase. You look at those pupils are dilated. Go, and then you just go with that hoe. Why won't you go with me? I don't need that question answered. I need it right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. After $3,000 of giving food away to the homeless, I think I deserve it. I think I'm entitled bloke, and I think that I deserve it now. I'm not going to believe in your God or any nonsense. I'm not going to believe in Satan either. I just want it here right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. This is a good one for Dr. Drew. I, w- I was literally just putting this on the Dr. Drew list. Yeah. I like, think he's going to say drugs, but I think he's also <laughs> going to talk about mental illness. I think this yeah. Guy is... well, it... But in that first video, I didn't think he was mentally ill. I just thought he was kind of a snobbish dick. Yeah, I thought he was kind of a narcissist. Yeah. I'm going to go with the double header of, double header of uh, cocaine mm. as drugs and mania. He might be bipolar. Yeah. Some kind of an episode happening yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's definitely one for Drew. Yeah. Wow. Hold on, there's a little bit more. Let's see what else this is. We need to get rid of this atrophia from chicks under the age of 26 because of telomerase research. Says that the father is 35 to 55. The kid will live longer, have longer telomeres, the intelligence more fitter. We need to get rid of it like we need to get rid of incest and pedophilia. We need to get rid of it right now. Get rid of what? Did you catch that? No. He said we need to get rid of something at the beginning. We need to get rid of this age phobia. Age phobia. Age phobia. You know, he looks like the Incredible Hulk right now. Yeah. And the the choice to go shirtless in a video is always a bold one. And it's always an indicator. Yes. Um, And we we've seen that many times. (laughs) Background lighting. Ten to twelve. Benadryl was shirtless. Try it out, guys. Shirtless. Yeah. Right. There's, there's the, a there's, lot of there's a repetition here. There's a consistency theme. with shirtless. <laughs> Shirt, you know who doesn't post shirtless? Former presidents, right. um, <laughs> CEOs. <laughs> yeah. Just anyone not high. I mean, look at those pupils. Boo. Yeah, they're yeah. they're pretty big right now. Yeah, he's hmm. really in a mania. Oh, you're only having sex. Your telomere is abundant. You're just going to get stressed and anger and make everybody depressed and stressed and angry as you roll with the guy and just go fly and later in life you have cancer. I want a hottie in my lap right now, right now, right now, right now. 18 year old big tits doesn't matter the subculture. Whoa. Right here, right now, and so can right now to go out with me on a date right now. He hmm. just went from 26 to 18. Did you notice yeah, that? Yeah, the age keeps getting lower. Under 26 originally and then he goes 18. I'm like, whoa, that's a jump. Hmm. Just jumped eight years. Eight years. Hmm. 18 year old big tits doesn't matter the subculture. Yeah. Now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Hmm. That's kind of, you know, that could be a good jingle. Right now, right now, right like, now. That could right be like, uh, are you hungry? Get a Jimmy John sub. Right. Now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. You might have written right. a jingle. You're right. Yeah. Very good, Tom. Good work. Your car doesn't run, change its oil on its own. Come on over to Jimmy, Jiffy Lou. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right? I like the angry one he does halfway through. Yeah. Right now, right now, right now, right now. <coughs> right now. He's really in, in, a, in a place, that guy. Tax day's almost here. Have you been to H&R <laughs> Block? Give us a call. Now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. <laughs> Pretty good. <gasps> Uh, Summer's coming up. Royal Caribbean. <laughs> Take the cruise that you'll remember for a lifetime. Now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. That's great. You're right. He, go, he has a whole career he's not even looking into. Don't wait. Go to stamps.com before you do anything else. <laughs> Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in mom. Now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. We're going to have to use him for our ads. Besides, so. try it out. We've got the right now the guy. Right now guy. <laughs> Download this latest episode of your mom's house now, podcast. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. <laughs> 50 times down, left and right, and make sure your sword gets sharper and you come whenever you have control. Now, right now, right now, right now, right now, Jesus right now, right now. Christ. Pretty good. What uh, a psycho. See, he's a good ad guy. He is. He's the ad man. Who knew? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Oh, Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know something, Tommy? Uh, <laughs> speaking of mental illness, how about this person? The video seems like it staggers a little bit. I don't know what oh, okay. that's all about, okay. but check out this lady here. <clears throat> I am a soul fork. What that means is okay. from non-physical energy, so most people in the planet, there are non-physical energy that is projected forth into a physical human body. Uh-huh. I am non-physical energy that is perfect, projected forth into an Arcturian body, okay. an extraterrestrial body. Hmm. 
I'm, I'm listening. I like to hear more. Oh, okay. Lucky for you. That extraterrestrial being has chosen to then project forth as a human body 12 okay. times. This is the 12th incarnation. It's quite oh. funny, ironically, because before I even came down, okay. um, there was an entire Dr. panel Drew of beings, so. Arcturian beings, six-dimensional beings, who even chose the way I would look in this life. See, I just, I, I'm also kind of fascinated where you acquire the vocabulary to speak like this. Arturians, you know, I've heard this before, actually. But she has, it's not just one word. I'm saying, you know, she, right. she's able to, right. to speak freely with some command of, basically, language most people don't. Yeah, it's a, gl- use. it's a glossary of nonsense. Yes, that's it's, a great title yeah. for your next album. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. 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 It's like, where? how did she come? How did they, I guess all these weirdos that buy into this shit or she's read some weird. She read some bullshit. Book about, you know, the, the, the SETI, whatever messages mm-hmm. of extraterrestrials. You know, there's a whole subculture. And if you want to go this. full circle on this episode, it's basically no different than the Bible. <laughs> it's just a bunch <laughs> right. of nonsense yeah, with stories of arbitrary. like, what, who, <laughs> Did what now? What are you talking about? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Kinda. Would you like to know why? So I came down here with the intention of reaching people on every single continent. You mean like Jesus? Human beings, yeah. uh, they yeah. like to pay attention to what's attractive, right? But based on where you are geographically, certain things are attractive and certain things are unattractive. So a really beautiful woman down in Africa might come up here to the U.S. and be considered up pretty here. ugly. Why oh. is that down there? Why is we up? Why are we up right. here? Have you seen the continent of Africa on the map? <laughs> it's not all down there. <laughs> not really. No, well, in her mind, and so the earth is flat. And so before I came here, it's not like my looks are so gorgeous to one demographic over another demographic. Mm-hmm. It's that there will not be a person on the planet, regardless of what country you go to, that does not perceive some level of attractiveness. Thus, they'll pay attention. She basically just said oh, I'm attractive yeah. to any to everyone on earth. Do you oh, understand? Oh, okay. I, I I like I didn't want to devote the mental energy to figuring out what horse shit she's talking about. She said that she Like I tuned out halfway okay. through it. Yeah. I was like, I don't I She said I'm attractive I'm to tired. everyone on earth to some degree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is what this person just said about themselves. <laughs> cool. I'm attractive Wait. to everyone. It's too bad she's not eighteen to twenty six. We could set her up with a thousand dollar state guy. They seem like a couple of delusional At the very least, it'd be a good way for her to make $1,000. Hey, that's money in my pocket. But she might not be under 26. (laughs) No, no, she's too old for him. You think so? How old do you think she is? You're better at this 32? Oh, yeah, she's way too fucking old. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) One foot in the grave. I am a soul fork. (laughs) What? (laughs) This is the 12th incarnation. Uh Oh, wow. Yeah. Those are drugs, right? Those drugs? Yeah. Or maybe she's just sick. You know, and I also think there's just people that are um, so wounded and they they really just need something to believe in and like aliens and incarnations and spiritual forks and all like, you know, it's her. I am a spiritual fork. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Hey, man, it's your world. You got it. Yeah. Go for it. Fucking bullshit. Speaking of spiritual forks, I was in... um, the airport and i saw a woman wearing a house slippers like fuzzy house slippers yeah and I, it's actually not the first time i've seen that it's i've been seeing a trend of young girls wearing like house slippers out it's kind of a thing now yeah i've seen that a lot more right a lot more yeah. and like I, it's not the open tonus because somebody commented like oh do you hate feet is that what you're I'm like no it's not the feet it's that these shoes are not meant to be worn uh, out in the streets, they're well, sometimes flimsy. they're covered. They have an open back, you know. Right? So sorry, which sometimes one? Sometimes slippers just have an open back. That's what these were. These were yeah. like fuzzy slippers, like you know, old school nineteen sixties fuzzy slippers. So they were there was no heel. Yeah, it was just like a, a shitty. It's it's a trend. It's a picked shitty up a flip flop. Yeah, I see it a lot. Not even a flip flop. It's right. got that one bar. So your toes are exposed. Your heels exposed. It's really not a supportive shoe. It's a crummy uh, sole. You know. Yeah. I've seen I've seen all different versions. I've seen the sandal version, where you see the whole foot, but it's just covered and it's like fuzzy. But yeah. I've also seen like <clears throat> the house slipper. In other words, your foot slides That's, into it, and oh, open oh, back. Oh right, yeah. Right, open back only, but it's clearly a slipper. Right. But I think it's just it, I think it's a fad where the the fad is like the more that's meant for home, the more you're seeing it out. Yes, I'm seeing it's that. It's almost like it's a statement. Like this is. Such relaxed wear 
that I'm, I take it out because that's how chill I am. Right. I wear my PJs and my slippers yes. when I'm out. And I saw a lot of boys wearing pajama bottoms, yeah. like straight jammies. Oh, yeah. You're like, dude, really? Like Jeff Tate did uh, stand-up in them a few no. weeks ago. No, he didn't. He wore pajama bottoms on stage, yeah. yeah. Well, it's Jeff Tate. Though. No, he could pull it off. Yeah. But I'm just saying, that's how relaxed he is. He's that guy, though. You'd yeah. believe that he just rolled out of bed and did stand-up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look at his diet. Look at his whole... He brought thing. Gatorade on stage too. He did. Yeah. Gatorade and hot dogs. No hot dogs, but he did bring Gatorade. <laughs> you know what I remember about that week that he stayed with us? Hot dogs and Gatorade. Besides when we lived next door to 7 Eleven, that's all he ate. That's that's how we got that. Yeah. Say. <laughs> Excuse me. Is that when he would drink the red Gatorade, he would have a ring around his lips of yeah. red and in yeah. his beard. It would like the color would bleed into his beard too. Yeah. So that was kind of a neat bonus mm -hmm. with the Gatorade drinking. Gatorade for life. And he had the full sugar, not even like the G2. Right. Which is what you like to get like when you're sick. You get like the lesser sugar Gatorade. If I have uh, like serious diarrhea, <laughs> yeah. uh, then I will have some electrolytes. It's got electrolytes. The G2. But I don't drink it regularly. I don't like no, it regularly. No, we have it as an emergency for when you have yeah. diarrhea. 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 Yeah, like Chicago. Diarrhea. Chicago. The funniest thing is we were joking about Chicago once. Yeah. About, like, as a nickname for it. And I kind of laughed at it and didn't really, you know, he's made it like, oh, yeah, it's a joke name. And then I went to um, the airport, and this lady, it's a lady in the United Terminal. Uh, if you fly United out of LAX, she's a black lady in maybe her, somewhere between 45 and 55, and she wears sunglasses, but they're clearly like prescription sunglasses, but she wears them at the gate. <laughs> so you, you, she stands out because you're great. like, that woman has sunglasses on. And she was like, fly 1528 to Chicago is boarding now. She said it and I was like, oh yeah, what? And anyways, I saw her a couple of weeks ago and I said, is there a flight to Chicago? Right <laughs> out of here? And she goes, Chicago goes out of gate 57. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I approached her and said Chicago, and and she, yeah, yeah. she goes Chicago is out she, of fifty-seven. Yeah, to, yeah. Well, I hear I've heard lots of people say Chicago. I think I didn't really pay attention. Are to you before. serious? Oh, because that's that's she kind was of... one of the first ones that I really. I mean, I saw oh. her do it over a year ago, but yeah. I wasn't really keen on Chicago. Oh no, I've heard it. It's very prevalent. It's yeah. it, uh, it's a common a common thing. People say Chicago. Oh yeah, I've heard Washington. Washington, I've heard that too. That one is like, wait, yeah. what? That's terrible. And uh, Houston, my dad. Houston, says that. Yeah, yeah, Houston. Yeah. But when uh, Washington is like, War it's unforgivable. It's yeah. not Washington. That's when you cancel a friendship for sure. Someone's like, I'm going to Washington. Washington. Like, what? No, you stupid fuck. It's not Washington. <laughs> yeah. It's not Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. Why do you? Why are you throwing an R in there? Why? People do. But why? Why are you know. adding a, a letter that's not even I don't know. remotely close and to it? And you that? know what I hate, too, is people who call San Francisco Frisco. Yeah. Because the natives do not fucking call it. If you, It's just terrible. Frisco. Yeah. No one says that. When you live up there, it's San Fran. Yeah. But you never say Frisco. It's fucking rookie time. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's not, yeah. not how you do it. San Francisco Going to 69ers. Frisco, the 69ers, the football team. Yeah. You know, frickin' Frisco. I can't Get wait to go to Frisco here. again. April 29th, I'm going there. You're going there April 29th? When, when are you going there? I don't have it. Well, I, am, I do have it on the books. I'm not allowed to announce it yet, but it's not for a while. My but I did, I did almost lock sold out. down date. I'm almost sold out for Cobbs. And Frisman Disco. Frick Farks Man Disco. Frick Disco. Yeah, I'm going to go. I love that city. April 29th, that's when the jizz will flow in the streets. The cum Cobb, comes out at night. Cobb's com Comedy Club. Do you think God will <laughs> rain cum on everybody who goes to my show? <laughs> As a way of thanking them? Just your, just, just me. Yeah. Just my audience members. Yeah, yeah. Rub your balls all over that cum. Oh. I'm Peyton Lafferty, and I'm a ball hog. You are Peyton Lafferty. I keep thinking about the name Peyton Lafferty. Yeah. Like, I'll just I be looked her up, here. and I couldn't help but look her up. Oh, and what's her career? Tell me everything. I mean, she's done more than that video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. What's, her, what's her genre? <clears throat> she just does her job. Well, she's what is she into? Double anals? Or? I mean, I think she's just your run-of-the-mill... Like, what do you need to do? What, what do I need to do today? <laughs> kind of yeah. the, the handyman, like the guy she's who just a, does all the jobs She's in the a house. ham and egger. Like, she just goes to work, you know? <laughs> Gets her job done. She's like, hey, tonight, 
<laughs> there's a double-headed dildo in you. Sure. Then there's a couple guys, you know, banging you tomorrow. And then you need to hook up with a girl on Thursday. And she's like, all right, I'm here to, I'm here right. to work. So her agent is like, by any means necessary. Like kind of. $500 I I did, today. She didn't strike me as, I mean, I just kind of looked at a, a run. It, it wasn't like the most intense thing you've ever heard of. I mean, right. you want me to look at a list or something? She's like a day player. Yeah. Now, because I, I'm wondering, do these girls... She's kind of all over in genres, but do do women generally choose a lane? Do you know what I mean? Like you know how Bella Donna is like you know that she's she's rough. Oh like she'll God. do a baseball. There's diamonds. a Reddit thread about about us talking about her. Peyton Lafferty. Ah, uh, Peyton Lafferty. Ah, uh, Bob Hog. Ball. <laughs> Let's Peyton see. Lafferty. It's a um, good name, Peyton Lafferty. I wish she'd think of my show business. Name. Yeah, I don't think she. I mean, according to this thing here, she is. She did a few different things. I don't want to pull up a. A porn thing on our do, do, main Is there screen. such a thing as like a porn star Wikipedia? Kind of. This thing took can, us there. You can see their IMDb and stuff. Oh, you can. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, like a porno but, IMDb. But this one here, I think you can. Uh, I'm I can get away with showing it. I I'm think. a bahog. Um, see what you see. Oh, sh- sh- right, like. You okay, see. here we go. Cutie Peyton Parker, but it says oh. Is that who that is, Peyton? Yeah. Come hungry, Peyton Lafferty, outside sucking hard dick. Yeah. Peyton Lafferty bouncing her bubble butt on a hard cock. So it's pretty run of the mill. Yeah. There's nothing sucking and dick. This is the t- the category. Small right? tits, <laughs> hardcore anal. Yeah, it's pretty run of the mill. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Deep ass screwings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. This is, you know she did her thing. Stuff like. But that. I think I think she'll always be remembered as a ball hog. <laughs> I feel like she... That site says she retired. So. What? Yeah, no longer in the game. I don't know. She's so young. She, her career is just beginning. I think she's... No, she's in her 30s. Oh, so I'm porn. That's, yeah. Your, your 60s it's in ancient. porn. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to do your gilf porn? Your Kim Ann scenes? God, Kim Ann. <laughs> I'm a grandma. <laughs> a sexy plus man. She loved pornography. She loved... Kim uh, Ann? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's one of the real Nine dealers. Nine inches a plus. 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 Oh, Where's she from, Kimmit? What was she? Uh, ta- no, was it? Ta- was she Thai? Kimmit? I don't remember. She she definitely says it in that one video we used I to play. I am from uh, Thailand. Yeah, I think and so. I have. Hi, I'm Kimmit. And I'm here um, to film. <laughs> and this is such a beautiful villa. Uh-huh. The villa. Um, we're sitting. <laughs> with the first time of my ever experience in my life in with my life. Two, two young men and mm-hmm. they have big hard cock oh. to offer me I'm this uh, you. villa is okay. really quaint place and it's really really comfortable mm-hmm. with a lot of artifacts inside the house as well mm-hmm. as outside Speaking of artifacts, do you really, think the really viewers want? Do you think that the men watching are super stoked to hear about the artifacts? Probably, probably. A lot of art collectors and. We watched all the money in the world last night. <laughs> Great. How funny was that? Well, we're halfway. I fell asleep halfway through it. But one of my John dear, dear good friends, Mark Wahlberg, is in it. Oh my and, god! Just um, sorry, I'm just talking about who my friends are. Name dropping. Um, just one of my good friends. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyways, my buddy Mark's in it, and okay. um, he's kind of out of shape. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him. Not really in shape. I'm telling you, getting fat again. <laughs> uh, who Gosh. plays the the mom? Oh, Michelle she's Williams. She's great. Gosh, she's so great. She's great in it. This is the infamous film that uh, Kevin Spacey last shot, oh. and then about 50 days, it was shot, ready to go, ready to be released. 47 days before its release. This the it comes out that he's trying to fuck or accused of fucking teenage boy, underage boys, and he's a huge per. It's a huge course, ball hog. Allegedly, a allegedly, huge ball hog. allegedly harassing people, allegedly going after underage guys for a long time. <clears throat> anyway, that that's the storyline. They go, we can't do this movie with Kevin Spacey. It's all ready to go. It's edited already. So then. Ridley Scott, the director, says, I'm going to reshoot all of his scenes. This is an already completed film. So crazy. And he casts Christopher Plummer to, at, as the reshoot. 
so they have to bring in actors that he's obviously in scenes with and reshoot those again. And those scenes, girl, boy, boy, girl. Right. But isn't that amazing? So what they did was the editors sent the edited the scenes with Spacey to set and they would see how they were lit, see how they were blocked, shot, everything. And then they would mimic, they would go to the same space that they just had and they would reshoot it basically exactly the way they did before, but with Christopher Plummer instead of Kevin Spacey. It's crazy. The thing, of course, that's amazing is that even though Spacey is a bigger star than Plummer, I mean, you watch Plummer in it and he's actually an elderly man playing an elderly man, which makes sense. You know? Right, right. As opposed to, Spacey was all in makeup to make him look older. Oh. Um, but the character was amazing. It was based on the real John Paul Getty, who uh, was a infamously wealthy and stingy man. And he had such, like there were some things we were really laughing at. Like uh, as, a, as I'm sure a lot of rich people experience, they get letters about people's hardships and want to know if the rich person can help them. So this, you know, they're in the movie, he has his grandson reading him a letter that someone wrote, Dear Mr. Getty, you know, my uh, brother needs a liver or he's going to die and I would hope that you can help us out. God bless. And he's like, he dictates to his grandson. He's like, right, dear so-and-so, if I gave money to everybody that asked for help, then I'd be destitute like you. <laughs> I know, it's so funny. Yours that made us truly, laugh so hard. What a shithead. Basically, I'd be poor like you. Well, you'd be a poor son of a bitch like you. That's and you so know, mean. One of the things, I mean, there's not, that necessarily didn't necessarily happen, but in real life, when his grandson was really kidnapped and the kidnappers did demand ransom, he wouldn't pay. His own grandson. And, you know, in the movie, they have him saying things that he probably really said, which was like, I'm not paying that. <laughs> and they go, even when his... Uh, guy that works for him is like, you know, it's a drop in the bucket to you. And he's like, nah, because if this thing doesn't work out, I'd be exposed. I don't really have any money to spare. Things <laughs> like that. Or he had a payphone in his house for guests. For to guests, use. that was great. Yeah, that's real. That's real. He had a, he had a Gosh. real payphone so that you wouldn't make long distance calls on his dime. And then he would do his own laundry by hand and hang it up in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Yeah. It's such an interesting uh personality trait to have so much money he had billions of dollars and yet he wouldn't spend it what's i wonder what's going on well you know there. he it's did spend i mean he he lived this very luxurious i mean the homes and they were outrageous you know and he's he was perhaps the greatest art collector in the world i mean you look at the getty museums now and it's yeah. unbelievable what was in his personal collection but he wouldn't spend it on He'd spend it on art, but not on, you know... Laundry services. I mean, like, yeah, it's little crazy. conveniences like that. I mean... See, to me, that's the only reason to have money. That is the reason. Can you park closer? Yeah. And, uh, you God. know, like, yeah, it's $25 to park here. Okay. Can I not do my own laundry? Like, that's that's fantastic. That's why you have money. You don't have to do all those annoying yeah. things in life. He, uh, yeah. It's gross when someone's that rich and is pinching it that hard. Oh, my life. Billionaire. I don't like that at all. I don't like that either. What's the point? What are you what are you gonna do with all your money? I hate I hate when I hear I mean, I guess I like cars, but I also hate when I hear about rich guys driving like whack ass cars. I'm like, the fuck is wrong with you? Man? Yeah. And well like, you love no, cars. I know, like, but this one's it's really reliable. I get great mileage. I'm like you're rich. The fuck are you doing, man? Live a little. I know. I get upset when I hear rich people not spending money on like education. Are there kids or they're like, we'll send the kids to public school. I'm like, yeah, but in California, and a nice, I know that some public schools are great, mm -hmm. but where we live, it's really not fantastic for the most part. It depends on your neighborhood. Depends on the neighborhood. But it's like, dude, just spend the money. Go fucking send your kids somewhere nice. If it's a, if it's, it's, I a, it's, hate that. Well, it depends on which, uh, what part of the country and what what you know? Yeah, no, I know, I know. But I'm saying that there's a. I'm thinking of a specific family. Oh, that we know. That yeah, I'm one like, of the on. best schools I ever went to was a public school. Yeah, but that wasn't California. That's true. We're like still... bottom of the barrel. That shit. There's, there's definitely got to be some York's good ones. Good. Here. New York is good. No, there's some like regional. Yes, yeah. obviously, but yeah, I don't fucking know. Man. That's my. I actually wish I could have gone to that school from. But we what moved about again. what about people that? Don't fix their teeth to have all the money in the world. That's fucking crazy. 
We see people. We know if, people like that. Yeah. So it's it's nuts. I know. Where you're like, you don't want to. It's what everybody sees. It's the first thing they see. Your fucking dirty mouth. Yeah. Fix it. Mm-hmm. Get your toofies fixed. They're colored and there's holes in there. It doesn't yeah. look like you know how any of it works. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You want to see some wild shit? Mm-hmm. That's this guy who also Dr. Drew could give an evaluation on. Oh, okay. On, I'll put that on the list. Goes yeah. into Burger King. Burger King. And he kind of starts some shit. Now look at that though Mm. Oh so he is talking shit Knocking shit off the counter And I think he just pushed a register Off the counter That's a pretty aggressive move Okay Mm. It's a pretty aggressive move He clocked him hard. Babe, get out of the way, honey. <gasps> oh. He's got a thing on his leg, like a brace, too. Yeah. He's being all aggressive. And... I know. That dude just clocked him hard. Yeah, good. Well, he needed it. Okay, He well, needs to calm the fuck down. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, my God. He's standing on his head. Yeah, he's got a good reason to, yeah. though. Jesus Christ. Come on, Get up, get up, get up. I say stay on that fucker's head. Did you hear head. what she said? No. She said get up and I'm going to tase his ass. Yeah, she should. Good for her. Crazy motherfucker. Good. Be careful. Hey. Yeah, he's crazy. He's out of control. Oh. <laughs> Shit. I don't know about Somebody a face just came. Oh, she just kicked him again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how funny this is, Tom. <laughs> You're, what part's funniest to you? Where the, he's getting tased or kicked? The, well, <laughs> just that he's getting it because he deserves it. He went in there and started some shit. He does. And then stranger, like that guy that just came in and slapped him doesn't work there. He's just <laughs> a patron that was like, oh, I can get in a slap too. <laughs> so she just, first of all, it's one thing if you act out and then like like that first guy punched him because he 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 shoved him first. It's like, all right. Now he's laying on the ground, and someone's like, hold on, I'm going to tase him. Like He's already down. So she goes to tase him, and then she gets in a little tase, and then this guy comes in. And just she gets to slap smack him. him. <laughs> and she just kicked and tased again. Oof. Oh. I do think the slap was unnecessary, the head slap. It was... It was it that was a bonus slap. It like, was a bonus slap. He didn't need that at that point. Not entirely, but you can justify it for sure. I definitely think the taser was good. That was a good move on her part. Taser dumbass. Good oh, girl. Get boy. him again. This guy's out of his fucking mind. Yeah, get out of there, yeah. asshole. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah, defend yeah. yourself. Oh, look, and he has psychos. something out. He just, this is his. <laughs> this thing here at the end, he just grabbed something there. Oh my god! Something like he parked there. Can you see what it is? I don't know, like a wheelchair or a little wheelie thing. For, oh yeah, he's got, got like a scoot scoot for his leg. Oh yeah, you know, have scoot scoots. This motherfucker has, has a scoot scoot, and he's, and he's starting shit. shit in Burger King. He's crazy. Wow, that's pretty wild. Yeah. Well, I love fucking it. Fucking dipshit. That was great. Start some shit. That made my day. <laughs> I don't know if I feel the same way, but really, uh, I, I mean, was... I just wish he hadn't done that in the first place. I guess. I mean, you know, you go into Burger King. Someone says you go into Burger King on one leg, yelling, push it off the <laughs> counter, uh, start talking shit, get in pe- people's faces. How do you think it's gonna go? Right. Like, is that a good idea? I'd be like, mm, you know, that'd be so retarded. I don't think I would do that. You know, <laughs> so. <laughs> He's definitely starting some shit. Gonna He's talk definitely some shit. starting some shit. Crazy person. Yeah, that's completely unnecessary. Well, good for them. They defended themselves. That guy could have gone way, way crazier too, man. Um, somebody At wrote least he didn't to have us. A gun or something. You want to answer that? Why don't dogs have to wipe? I have a question for you, mommies. Why do dogs not have to wipe their ass after pooping, but humans do? Justin from Portland. 
Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know because I actually think our dogs need a wiping uh, sometimes because we've actually had to wipe Bitsy's uh, pooper after yeah. after a shit. So they kind of do sometimes. I'm guessing because their glands, their anal glands yeah. are stronger That's maybe. That's what it is. And they're able to pinch it. It really comes off right. Yeah. yeah. But like I've said, we've had the butt stamp on several pieces of furniture in this house. So Ugh. it's, remember Fief used to do it a lot Ugh. back in Redondo. We had a carpet that I got from like some cheapy place, Ikea or something. It was covered in dog shit. You know what I mean? My brother, sister-in-law and I were wondering what you thought about which of a, which of a <laughs> conjoined twin pair would have to push to poo. I'm yeah. personally horrified by even entertaining the subject, <laughs> but I'm sure we are not the only curious ones about the question. I mean, uh, Mommy Tina tore it up in SLC. Uh, best show I've ever seen at Wise Guys ever. Way to go. Thank you. Thank you for that's the compliment. Brad Moore. Well, that's an interesting question. They're saying... <laughs> Who initiates the push? When they're when they're conjoined. But from what I've seen from the interviews with conjoined twins, all those questions about who does what, it's yeah. one of the phenomenons of what happens. It's neither one. They both do it at the same time. So you're telling me they both feel the urge to yeah, shit? Yeah, and they both just... It's just saying, like, how wow. do you know which leg to put in front? Like, who goes first? It's just... It just happens wow. automatically. Wow. Yeah. So there's some things, like, you, you just have an automatic body. Yeah. Wow. Because they share those organs. You and know? then who initiates masturbation? That's a, that's the same thing. It's like I feel like coming, and the other one's like me too, and then they just go for it. <laughs> yeah. Some of those hoes are married. Those co-joined. Yeah, those co-joined thoughts are married. Yeah. Thoughts. <laughs> so stupid. That's an old one. Even I know that. One. <laughs> that's silly. Uh, yeah. It's true. They are married. You think so? No, one they are. Them, one of them's married and the other one's not. I think two of them got married. How the fuck? So that guy marries both of them then? No, You're not he marries one. one. Oh, no, you hell married one. no. Yeah. And then was she just along for the whole marriage ride? Yeah, of course. That's how they live their life. That's terrible. So she, what, yeah. she, what if she doesn't want to be married to that guy because she's married to that guy too? No, they they both have their own husbands. <sighs> Kyle, you're just blowing my mind I right know. now. Yeah. So they all say, good night, good night, good night, good night. Good night. And then those guys <laughs> end up being like... Hey, man, all the time. Who's going to fuck her? But do they have one vagina or two? One. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. So the guys take turns. Yeah. It's like my night. Yeah. It's my night. Yeah. Sometimes they go in there together. No, they don't. Sure they do. No, they don't. It's like a Peyton Lafferty bit. Yeah, they do. <laughs> she doesn't do DPs. I didn't see that. She doesn't? Not a DP? Double vag. I'm sure our audience will inform us of whether or not she's done a DP. Oh, I know. There's a lot of experts out there. I can hear them typing right now. Peyton has, in fact, done a <laughs> DP. It was released March 8th, 2010. Guys, get your information straight. You guys um, are not fact checking on this. this yeah, Peyton we know. Thing, we need to know the truth. Oh, we want to get down to the real story. Peyton Lafferty. Was she Irish? Peyton Lafferty. <laughs> And I am a ball hog. I am Peyton Lafferty. I am Peyton Lafferty, and I'm a ball hog. It's uh, too bad she's in retirement. Yeah. I feel like we just boosted her career, you know what I, I mean? Know. I know. I would have her in studio just to talk to about To talk about that clip that day, had that feel to be a ball hog. Yeah. What was that like? Was it funny to you when they told you about the, you know? <laughs> I mean, those poor women, because those dumb things they yeah. have to say, and men, actually. There's all these silly things. I mean, you you got to be able to sell those di those stupid dialogue, just like on any you know TV show or thing Come you're on, doing. Sniff those balls, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like it's all part of showbiz. How about this, what's up, Mister High and Mrs. Tight? Big old fan of both of you. Notice y'all burp sometimes on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that for as long as I can remember. I rarely burp. I've tried many times. Please. Friends have described how to do it, and nothing. I can't drink a lot of beer at a time because of it. I just get full. When it happens, what happens is I will burp maybe once or twice a month. And even then, they are always puny little wimpy burps. This mm. means the odds of me being blessed with a double pipe classic, extremely rare. It makes mm. me sad. Now, when it comes to farts, oh, my God, do I fart a lot. That's my fine. gut is a toxic waste plant. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know. Keep up the good work. Gene, salute. Jake. Well, yeah, I think you just nailed it, right? Yeah, so, it's, going, it's going down instead of going up. He just yeah. It never goes up for him. Yeah, I mean, I've I'd be sad heard, in the world without burps. Well, um, I have, I know somebody very dear to me, very close to me, who can't burp either. It's a girl, and I've tried for years. Been like, what's her tit situation like? 
I don't want, I won't go there. Okay. But I've, I've tried training her. We tried soda. I've tried, there's different things you can do. You can uh, cup, force cup, the bird. I want to say a B. Okay. But you can suck in the air. You can train yourself to burp that way. Mm-hmm. See, I just yeah. did that on command. I can do but that. This guy says he can. He drinks a soda and nothing happens. What happens is he farts. He so farts it, it's it choosing out. to go down. But do you think that's like what is going on in this person's body where that happens? It's just the way they're built. It's... Yeah, that sounds like it. I mean, I don't burp as much now that I'm pregnant. I think because I have so much acid reflux happening, and I don't want to burp. Uh, Look at you! You just did that. You yeah. just did that. That would have made his whole year. Wow. Maybe it just did. I think some people are more inclined to be burpy than others. Yeah. It's a gift. It's a genetic blessing. All right. Yeah. I don't know. You, you can train. I mean, you have to suck up the air. Have you tried sucking it up from your stomach? Like, I just did that. Yeah, I don't understand. Just I just did that. Swallow more air and then... But the swallowing, it's not, he said that he swallows the air, it's bringing it up into into sound that's causing him trouble. Yeah. You know, I don't know how the, to teach it. I don't know how to teach it, though. I feel I like know. it's, yeah. There's just some things that you just know in life, you know? Mm. I agree. It's, it's, it's an innate skill, guys. I it mean, just is. Yeah. It's just not your calling. No, next lifetime. All right, anything else, Gene? No. All right. How about you, Gene? I'm good. Yeah. We've got to wrap it up. Okay, let's go finish our John Paul Getty movie. Okay. All right. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. (laughs) So stupid, huh? Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening to the show. See you next time.